All right, boys and girls and team dedication parents, the purpose of this video is to kind of give you some information on what to do if your child is unable to attend school. The rest of the kids are at school, but maybe your child has been quarantined, maybe your child's homesick, um, maybe your child is missing a day for vacation. We don't want your child to fall behind. And so what teachers are doing is we are posting things on Google Classroom for students to complete. Um, I'm going to kind of go over how to access and what to do and what it looks like. I will tell you that if your child is at home, they will not be Zooming into class. Teachers will be teaching the students that are in the classroom, so they will not be Zooming to students that are at home. It is completely independent and it is organized for you to follow. All of the students have created a virtual schedule. The virtual schedule is kind of a one-stop shop to each of your child's Google Classrooms. And so that is the easiest way to access all the Google Classrooms. Now, obviously your child knows how to get into Google Classroom differently by using the Google Classroom icon, but honestly, using the virtual schedule is the easiest. If your child is um, at home, they typically they won't have any work for homeroom, so they don't need to go to that Google Classroom. However, they are going to start with their first class. In this case, this person's first class is math. When they open up that link, it is going to take them to their very own math Google Classroom. And what's nice about the virtual schedule is it takes them directly to the classwork tab. That is the easier tab to follow. Um, otherwise, it takes them to the stream tab. The stream tab, in my opinion, is pretty worthless um, in terms of organization. So that's why the virtual schedule is super nice, takes them right to the classwork tab. In the classwork tab for all of the classes, your child will see a topic that says quarantine and absent because this work can be used for both and it will have the week. Now, we will not be keeping up every week from the whole school year. Most likely we'll be keeping up about two weeks at a time before we start to remove because it does get very crowded. Um, please know there's also a table of contents over here. So your quarantine work might not be at the very top. For example, I can move this down. It might happen where there's another topic on top. You just need to find the one that says quarantine and absent for the week that you're looking for. Within that, um, you are going to see the most current day is at the top. So today's actually Thursday when I'm making this video. So you can see on Tuesday, this is for my math kiddos, I posted three activities for them to do. And because I posted more than one, I numbered them. So if you were one of my math students, you would do activity number one from Tuesday first if you were absent on Tuesday, then you would move to activity number two, then activity number three. Please know that when you open it up, there are directions that will be given before you actually click on the activities that are here. So please make sure you're reading those directions. Um, if when Wednesday came, I then stacked Wednesday right on top of Tuesday with the two activities for Wednesday. Again, please make sure that you read any directions that are associated. Now today is Thursday, so you can see if there was a student that was homesick or quarantined, they would do activity number one, then activity number two, then activity number three. When you were to log into my Google Classroom tomorrow, you would see Friday. If there is nothing there, um, please understand and just kind of be patient and understanding. If there's nothing there for math class, for example, you can have your child um, do freckle for 20 minutes. If there's nothing there for reading, read independently for 20 minutes, which should be done every day anyway. If there's nothing there for writing, free write. But there should, for the most part, be work there. Um, and again, this would look the same for all of the classes. If I were to go, for example, to my social studies classroom, you're going to notice it looks exactly the same. Um, we have Tuesday's work, Wednesday's work, there's two things, and today's Thursday, so I stacked on three things for Thursday. The activities themselves shouldn't take all day, um, but if you fall behind and you don't do the work, you know, multiple days combined could take a little bit longer. Again, it's going to look very similar to this in each of the Google Classrooms. The expectation is, um, again, following those directions that are typed in there will definitely make everything easier. Again, no Zooming if you are quarantined or absent. It will just be independent work from all of your Google Classrooms. Please, please, please do not hesitate to reach out if you have questions to your classroom teachers. Students have access to email as well. They can reach out themselves. Um, but it is laid out pretty clearly um, and in an organized way here in the Google Classrooms. So we wanted to just touch base with all families all at once, all students all at once with this information. If you have any questions, let us know.